What's shaking, YouTube? It's your boy, Graybeard Gamer, bringing you another epic commentary. But before we get into that, make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe if it's your first time here. We got lots of tip videos, best class setups, gun reviews, anything and everything that's going to help make you the best COD World War II player that you can be. But let's go ahead and blow this thing up. As you can tell by the title, I'm using one of the best guns in COD World War II. It's absolutely my favorite, and I dominate with it, and that is the Variant Duck Soup for the PPSH. Now, what makes this gun so special is not only that it's a PPSH, but the, the sights on this thing are absolutely clear, stunning, easy to take down your enemy, and it feels like a completely different weapon than their stock PPSH or any of the other variants I've used. I really enjoy playing with this weapon. But ultimately, guys, this is not just about the PPSH duck soup. This commentary is about some things that we need to see change in COD World War II and all of the future CODs going forward. So let's go ahead and jump into some of those things. The first thing I would like to see change in COD World War II, especially, is the grenades, the, the spamming of the grenades. There needs to be something some kind of change where they'll allow people to take grenades off their classes or they raise the the health or i don't know i don't know how they're going to do it lower the damage profile of grenades but right now when you're playing an objective based game like domination you're going to get spammed with grenades and unless you're running hunker you're going to get blown to bits and unfortunately that forces you to use hunker as a crutch perk they talk about crutch perks. Condre was talking about he didn't want to bring any kind of perk in the game that would help you aim down sights quicker because it would become a crutch perk. Well, what does he think Hunker is in objective-based games? You have to run it. If you don't, you're going to suffer the consequences for playing the objective. So the casual player has one of two choices. They can either choose not to play the objective, which you see a lot of people not doing, or they can run Hunker and limit their gameplay. It's unfortunate that they decided to slow this game down so much through the design. And I think it's, an, it's a conscious decision by Sledgehammer Games to make the decision to slow the game down. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. When you're talking about the ADS coming out of a sprint, it is incredibly painfully slow. Even when you pull up on, on your target, you can't pull the trigger and even if you do, the rounds don't come out immediately. It's absolutely a shame. It's, it's an embarrassment. You should be able to play as fast as you can in this game. They control the outcome of the game because they control how you play. Don't let anybody fool you. They control that. Which brings me to my second point. They've got to find a way to eliminate camping in COD World War II. Too many people are sitting in corners, especially when the game gets out of hand, they're sitting in corners and waiting for you to run by so they can shoot you in the back or stab you in the back with the new camp division resistance. I talked about this in my review. It's a campy division. They, they designed this game to be campy and to be slow. And for, for the life of me, I don't know why it is. I don't know why they have such a desire to slow it down. I don't know if they wanted to have a serious contrast to the futuristic games that we've been playing, Black Ops 3 and so on and so forth. I don't know, but they've got to fix it. You, do, you didn't see people able to do that in the past. They, they've, they've put things in games before where if you're running Ghost and you're standing still, the UAVs are going to pick you up. That is not in this game. You can sit in the corner till the cows come home and nobody's going to pick, pick up on you with a radar unless you give yourself away or they happen to see you one-on-one -on -one. it's ridiculous and my last point the last thing that i would really like to see changed is i would like to see the lower tier weapons in each class buffed a little bit i'm so tired of seeing the same assault rifles the same smgs uh, until recently even the same sniper rifles and the same shotguns over and over and over again again this is them controlling the game they're forcing you to play what they want you to play in the way that they want you to play it's ridiculous it's a sham we paid for the game we are the ones going out and playing the game and some people are buying supply drops and etc we should have a say in how the game is played 
But anyway, guys, that's enough of my rant. You've heard me rant already. But let me know in the comments what you think about it. Let me know what you think about the way the game has been handled to this point. Go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if it's your first time here. I appreciate you watching. My name is Graybeard Gamer, and I'm out.